Welcome to part 11 of What If Naruto X Eno. Link in description. Hope you enjoy the fanfic and if you do please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And without further ado enjoy. Ease this broken heart by Ski Maiden. Chapter 19. Always Only You, Forever Part 2. One afternoon Shikamaru and Sakura sat talking together. He had decided that he would help the medic Nin bring their two best friends together. They would achieve this goal no matter what. Shikamaru knew how determined Sakura was. She really wanted to bring Naruto and Ino together. He knew it had to be mainly because she felt partly responsible for the situation. And even if it might have been partly true there was no way she should have to talk all the blame. Naruto and Ino should have talked everything out like young mature adults. Of course knowing them the way he did he wasn't surprised that it didn't happen. So if they had to be forced to talk then so be it. Sakura it's not your fault. Shikamaru said to her. Once he said this the green-eyed teen looked over to him. Huh. It's not your fault that they aren't together right now, so don't feel like it is okay. He tried to make her feel better. I just have to fix it you understand right? The hazel-eyed male nodded. He knew exactly what Sakura meant. We'll do it. He started. We'll fix it. They're our friends. It's our job to fix their mess right? Sakura gave him a warm smile. She was really glad he decided to help her out after all. Thanks Shikamaru you have no idea how much I appreciate this. No problem like I said those two are our friends. Yeah, Sakura agreed. I saw Naruto earlier and I asked him to meet me here. I think he should be in on the plan. I agree. Shikamaru nodded. He has to be the one to convince Ino of the way he feels about her. He should be in on it. He still thinks you and Ino have something going on. So if he seems a little off to you then you know why. Then we'll just have to explain to him that he has it all wrong. He had to be the level-headed one right now, someone has to be. Footsteps were heard as they both spotted a head full of spiky blonde hair. Naruto was now making his way towards them. He had no idea why Sakura wanted him to meet her here, but naturally he would show up. He saw that Sakura was not alone, sitting near her was Shikamaru. Naruto immediately began to wonder why that was. He would have assumed that Shikamaru would have been somewhere with Ino. He of course was glad that they weren't together, but it seemed odd for Sakura to be sitting with the lazy ninja. Naruto you're here. Yeah, hey Sakura-chan, Shikamaru. He added. Hey. Sakura gave a smile. Hey Naruto. Shikamaru replied. The whisker-faced teen gave a nod. Things felt immediately awkward for everyone. Um, okay. This is freaking weird. I hope Naruto doesn't do something stupid or crazy. How troublesome. Sakura thought. Oh boy now I'm thinking like Shikamaru. Sakura decided to try to ease some of the awkwardness. Naruto do you want to sit? Sure. He nodded and sat down across from Sakura. She couldn't help but notice there was some good distance between him and Shikamaru. She was sure Shikamaru had noticed it too. Naruto. Shikamaru spoke causing the blonde to look in his direction. You don't have anything to worry about. Ino and I aren't. It's okay Shikamaru. Naruto cut him off. You don't have to explain to me. But he does Naruto. You have to understand what's going on here okay. Sakura said. The blue eyed male didn't say anything. He decided to hear what the two of them had to say. Naruto I get it okay, but Ino and I are not together. She is just my friend. She always has been nothing but a good friend and teammate. You shouldn't feel threatened. You have nothing to worry about. He repeated. Naruto still didn't say anything for a while causing a sigh from Shikamaru and Sakura to become frustrated. Okay I see what I have to do. Shikamaru I'll handle this. Do me a favor go and get as many as the others you can and I'll meet you guys later okay. Hmm. He nodded. If we can get this plan going today then we shouldn't waste any more time. Naruto just blinked in confusion, having no idea what the hell Sakura was even talking about. The ponytailed male started walking away but looked back for a minute. Naruto, you know that I'm not the type of guy to backstab a friend. I wouldn't go after her when I know how you feel about her. That's all I wanted to say to you. I'll see you later okay Sakura. I hope that you can get through to him. Sakura nodded and gave him a brave smile. She would do everything in her power and then some to get through to her best friend. 
It was up to her to do this, it was something only she could do right now. Naruto only sat there with a deeply confused look on his face. Things were getting stranger by the minute. All right Naruto you're going to listen to me this time. I want you to really hear everything I have to say, so enough with the stubborn bullshit okay. Fine, he nodded. You're very wrong about Shikamaru and Ino. They are just friends just like you and me. I guess it's because of how close we are to each other, but you and Ino jump to the wrong conclusions. Sakura-chan, he started. I get it okay, you're just trying to help me. Yes I, am, she interrupted, so let me help you. Haven't you ever wondered why Ino was so harsh with you? Didn't you want to know why seemed to rejecting you? Yeah I did, he admitted. He would often still think about why that was. To put it very simply she's insecure. She wanted to pull away from you before she got hurt. Sakura explained to him Ino's reasons behind everything. A frown appeared on the blonde boy's face. I would never hurt her Sakura-chan. He said in a firm tone. I know but she just doesn't believe that you're over me. She thinks you still have those old feelings you used to have. Ino treated you like she did because of that insecurity. It's because she's afraid you will choose me over her. Realization slowly began to wash over the young man's face. It all made so much sense now. Everything was perfectly clear to him. Naruto stood up right away. So that's why she acted like she hated me. I have to go, I have to find her. Naruto wait a minute, there's something else. She saw us that day on the Hokage monument. She thought you and I were kissing up there and it really hurt her. I don't think I've ever seen her so upset before. Oh. Naruto nodded and sat back down. So you see why she won't listen to anyone. She's being so stubborn we have to take drastic actions. Shikamaru and I have a plan. Naruto nodded as he now understood why she and the lazy genius were together. But Shikamaru he. No Naruto you can't think about Shikamaru and if he wants Ino. The only thing you need to focus on is getting through to her. It shouldn't even matter to you if he did like her. All that matters is your feelings for her and hers for you. So are you ready Naruto? There wasn't any hesitation in the young man's eyes as he gave a firm nod. He would accept whatever help Sakura had to offer, as long as it won him the girl he loved back. Yes Sakura-chan I'm ready. Good. She smiled. I was hoping to hear that, so here's the plan. Meanwhile Shikamaru had found Tenten, Lee, Hinata, and Kiba. He gathered them all up and waited for Sakura to join him here in front of the Chunin exam stadium. The pony-tailed male was sitting on the ground leaning up against the wall. His eyes were closed as he reached for a cigarette. Shikamaru. Tenten shouted in his ears. Hazel eyes instantly popped open. He could see he was never going to catch a break until this whole mess was over. What? He asked. Shikamaru why are we here? Why did you bring all of us here? What's going on? It was the question on all of their minds. We're waiting for Sakura. A look of anger washed over the brown haired female's face. Sakura was not someone she wanted to see right now. After all she was the cause of Kanaha's favorite blonde duo to break up. Come on Lee let's go. But Tenten Chan. She glared at him and he swallowed his fear. Tenten Chan wait. Hanada spoke. Maybe we should wait for Sakura Chan. It might be important. Shikamaru gave a slight nod. He knew there was a reason why he liked Hanada. Thanks Hanada. I knew I liked you. Kiba frowned immediately. Hey Nara watch it. Hanada just ended up blushing slightly at Kiba's clear jealousy. It's okay Kiba-kun Shikamaru was just saying that I wasn't troublesome right? She gave a warm smile. The lazy genius nodded. Yeah, so you can calm down Kiba. Anyway just wait a little longer okay Tenten, Sakura will explain it all. Lee had his hand on the brunette's shoulder. He gave her one of his best smiles in an effort to calm her down. Oh alright, she sighed. I'll wait. This better be good though. So the friends waited with patience for the medic nin to show up. Well, everyone except for Tenten who was too busy pacing back and forth. Kiba started to feel a little dizzy from watching her. Will you cut it out already before you out a hole in the ground? Kiba shouted. Shut up Kiba if I want to pace back and forth I'm sure as hell going to do it. Tenten Chan please calm down. Lee spoke. Yeah Kiba kun please take it easy. Hanada said in her calming voice that immediately got through to the Inazuka. Fine, 
He agreed. I'm sorry for yelling at you Ten. It's okay. She nodded. I guess we're a little frustrated. Shikamaru is she even coming? She'll be here. He was positive of this. A few minutes after he said this everyone looked up to see Sakura heading towards then. It's about time. I'm sorry I'm late everyone. Thank you for finding some of our friends Shikamaru. Sure. He nodded. Neji and Choji weren't around so all I could find was these four. Hey. Tenten seemed offended. What the hell does that mean? Ten, he didn't mean to offend you alright. I asked him to gather whoever he could. I felt that you guys might help if you knew what was going on. All eyes were on the pink haired female. What's going on Sakura Chan? Hanada asked. Well, she began. It's about Naruto and Ino, they need our help. Are they okay? What happened? Kiba wanted to know. Don't worry no one's hurt. Yeah maybe not physically. Tenten muttered. Sakura looked up to meet the brunette's gaze. She obviously still blamed her for their so-called breakup. Tenten you shouldn't. Shikamaru started. It's okay Shikamaru you don't have to defend me. Tenten I get why you're upset and it's not like it's not partly true. I am involved in what happened with Naruto and Ino. But to blame everything on me it's not fair, especially when you don't have all the details. Tenten blinked in confusion. What are you talking about Sakura? I'm talking about the fact that I couldn't have broken up a couple who never existed in the first place. Things became extremely quiet after Sakura dropped the bomb. Tenten looked completely stunned. What? I, um, dot you. She spoke in broken sentences. Sakura you're sure about this? Kiba asked. Yeah, but how? Lee wondered. They looked so much like a couple and they were so youthful together. Tenten ignored the urge to cause him physical harm at this moment. They were just pretending. Sakura admitted. They weren't really dating. Sakura-chan why would they do this? Hanada asked. There are a lot of reasons, but they aren't really important right now. The only thing that matters is their feelings for one another. It's real now and they need a push from their friends to get them in the right direction. Tenten finally let the shock disappear from her face. So you're saying they were faking it? Yeah, it looked so real though. I was rooting for them and Sakura. She paused. I blamed you. I thought it was all your fault. I'm really sorry. It's okay. If you want you can help me and Shikamaru out with our plan. Shikamaru turned to look at the pink haired female. Sakura did you get Naruto in on it? Is he going to go along with everything? There's nothing to worry about Shikamaru. I explained everything. He wants to be with her so he'll do whatever he has to do. So, guys will you help? We need to give this a shot. Well, Kiba started. I don't get why those idiots started this whole mess, but sure I'll help. They're our friends. I want to help as well. The blue-haired female gave a warm smile. Tenten Chan I too wish to help. Lee spoke with a new fire burning in his eyes. Tenten just smiled at the black-haired male's enthusiasm. Of course, well if Lee is in you know I'm in. I'm a sucker for love I guess. Sakura was so glad to see everyone banding together like this. Thanks a lot guys so here's the plan. Sakura then went into details about what she and Shikamaru came up with. So you guys are all okay with this? She asked when she finished. Yeah we got it. Kiba nodded. Or in Sakura you don't have to worry. Tenten promised. I knew I could count on you guys. We'll do our very best. Lee said and gave his nice guy pose. Hmm, I hope this works. Sakura whispered. Shikamaru came over to him and placed his hand onto her shoulder. It'll be fine Sakura. There was something in his tone of voice that made her believe him. Thanks Shikamaru. Soon the friends were starting to leave to go their separate ways when Tenten pulled the pink haired teen aside. She really needed to apologize to her. Hey Sakura. Yeah, what's up? You haven't changed your mind have you? Oh no, I'm all for Operation Bring Ino and Naruto back together. I just wanted to say I'm sorry again. I shouldn't have thought all those things about you. Sakura smiled for the brunette and hugged her friend. Thanks Ten, I'm just glad you aren't angry anymore. I should have known that you weren't the type of person to betray your friends. I mean, look at what you're trying to do for them. Those two belong together I'm sure of it. So I'm more than happy to help. Okay. Tenten agreed. So are you ready for this Sakura? You got it, everyone's ready I think. She glanced over to Shikamaru for a second. 
The young man had fallen asleep near the wall. Sakura let out a laugh. Well almost everyone. Tenten looked between Sakura and the lazy dark haired genius. Sakura. Tenten smiled. You and Shikamaru aren't. What? She quickly cut the brunette off. We are not involved. We are just two people who want to see our best friends happy, that's it. Tenten just chuckled lightly. Oh, okay as long as you're sure. I'm sure, now enough of that conversation. Our goal for today is helping Ino and Naruto. Yep, so Naruto knows what to do right. Oh yeah, Sakura nodded. He knows all right, this is too important to him. He won't screw it up. All right well with that being said let the show begin. I'm ready let me go get the lazy ass up. He needs to be awake to see this whole thing work out. Hey Nara wake up, Sakura shouted. Tenten let out another laugh. There seemed to be something there between those two, or at least she thought so anyway. I won't be surprised if those two are Kanaha's next favorite couple. She thought. Oi Shikamaru wake up. She shook him. Huh, he grumbled. Troublesome woman I'm trying to sleep. Well sleep when you're dead mister we've got things to do. She helped the young man unknowing to them all eyes were watching. Do you think they like each other? It is possible, stranger things have happened right Tenten Chan. Lee questioned his girlfriend. Yes that's true. Who wants to bet that those two are the next to date? Oh no. Kiba shook his head. No more bets you guys remember what happened last time. Hey you guys. Sakura waved. Are you ready or what? We've got a few things to take care of. Right. The four nins nodded. We're coming. Sakura had a lot of hope for this plan. It just had to work. She wanted. No she needed this to work. It should be okay as long as Ino isn't able to see any of this coming. Meanwhile the platinum blonde who was now officially the only one out of the loop was busy working in the flower shop. Well, she was supposed to be but naturally her mind had been elsewhere. Like usual her mind and thoughts were with a certain whisker-faced blonde. She couldn't help but wonder how he was doing. In truth she was still pretty concerned about him. Ino Chan, her mother asked. She didn't respond right away. Mrs. Yamanaka noticed the far-off look in her aqua-colored orbs. Ino Chan what's wrong, huh? The younger female snapped back to reality. Oh mom, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to see that something is bothering you. I'm fine, Ino lied. The older woman hugged her daughter in a loving embrace. She disliked to see her daughter upset. You're not fine dear. There is clearly something bothering you, you wouldn't happen to be thinking of Naruto-kun right now would you? Ino released herself from her mother's embrace and met her knowing gaze. As if it probably weren't already obvious enough. How did you? She began. I wasn't really thinking of him. She lied again. Ino Chan. Her mother frowned slightly. You should know by now that you can't lie to me. I am your mother so I know you better than anyone. The blue-eyed teen gave a firm nod. She wasn't surprised that her mother could see right through her. I was thinking about Naruto. I'm just worried about him, he's going through a lot right now. Is he okay? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him for a while. Then why aren't you with him Ino-chan? You should know how much he cares for you by now. If you were in his situation he would be with you right now, and I think deep down you know that. Ino wanted to respond but before she could Sakura ended up walking into the shop. Forehead. She was very surprised. Hi Ino, are you busy now? I was hoping we could go somewhere to talk. Ino wasn't really sure what the two of the had left to talk about. She was pretty sure that they had nothing left to say. Actually I'm working. No she isn't. Her mother quickly spoke. Ino Chan why don't you go with Sakura Chan? You need to get out of the house anyway. The next thing she knew her mother was pushing her towards the door. But mom. No buts dear, go on. Maybe you'll do what I suggested earlier. Bye sweetheart. And just like that Ino found herself locked outside of the flower shop. Mom. She screamed. Mom this isn't funny let me back in. Sakura kept a straight face but on the inside she was laughing at Ino's childish display. I don't think she's going to let you back in. Ino turned to face the pink haired teen. Sakura what do you want? I told you I want to talk. Come on let's go okay. She was hesitant at first but soon followed after the green eyed teen. Ino found that they had stopped walking when they came towards the former Team 7's training grounds. What do you want to talk about Sakura? 
I think you already know. Look if this has anything to do with Naruto. I. It has everything to do with Naruto. Ino blinked a few times before she spoke. Is he okay? Ino asked. I haven't seen him since that day so I'm not really sure how he's doing. I know about what happened in Tsunade Shishu's office. Sakura started. I can't believe he knows who his parents are now. Yeah, he was so different when we spoke. I wasn't sure how to help him. Ino still felt like she didn't do enough that day. Was there something else she could have done or said to help him? Your being there for him helped a lot Ino. I told you that he needed you. The platinum blonde avoided the gaze of Sakura. Sakura why are you doing this? He and I are just friends, you know how much he really likes you. Liar. Sakura interrupted. It's more than friendship and you know it. He doesn't like me that way anymore Ino and I'm not going to steal him away from you. Why don't you get that? She was about to speak when something distracted both girls. Oh. A pained groan was heard. Oh my god Lee. Ten Ten's voice was heard next and she sounded very worried. Damn it, it hurts. Just hold on Kiba-kun. Sakura and Ino exchanged looks with one another. That was Lee and Kiba. Ino started. Yeah and they sound like they're really hurt. Let's go. The two teens ran off in the direction of where they heard the voices. If their friends were in trouble of course they would help. Ino was the first to arrive she saw Tenten holding a wounded Lee in her arms, and Hinata with a hurt Kiba by her side. Tenten and Hinata as well had some cuts and scars but they didn't look as hurt as either Lee or Kiba. Guys what happened? Ino asked first with Sakura coming up behind Ino a few moments later. We were ambushed. Kiba spoke with one eye opened. Sakura went over to the brown haired male. Kiba it's going to be okay. Ino and I are here. Ouch. Lee groaned again. Lee Kun don't strain yourself. Ino was about to go heal the dark haired boy when Kiba interrupted. Someone has to. He swallowed. Someone has to go to Naruto. As soon as Ino heard Naruto's name a look of horror washed over her face. And Naruto. Yeah we're attacked. Naruto took them all on and made us leave. He could be really hurt. Hanada spoke. Naruto Kun was so brave. Yeah. Tenten nodded sadly. He was amazingly brave. Lee tried to get up but Tenten held him close to her. Try not to move so much Lee. She was very worried. Sakura was now tending to Kiba but looked over to Ino. Ino I can handle things here. Please go find Naruto and help. She did not need to be told twice of course she would go help him. Which way Kiba? That way. Hurry okay Ino. The brown haired male spoke. Alright. Take care of them okay Sakura. I'll find him. She ran up in the direction Kiba had pointed. Once she was gone Lee and Kiba stood up from the ground. Good job guys. Sakura gave them the thumbs up. Yeah. Tenten laughed. We did a real good job on those injuries huh? You guys looked like hell. I feel bad for deceiving Ino chan though. Hanada spoke. Should we have really gone so far? It's for a good cause so it'll be okay Hanada. Where's Shikamaru? Right here. The lazy male said and came up from behind the bushes. Good you're here. You knew I would be here. She went after him, huh? Yeah I knew that she would. Come on guys we need to go too so we can see exactly what happens. Kiba said. The friends nodded and headed off after the platinum blonde. Of course they would have to stay well hidden so she wouldn't see them. I hope this works Sakura. Tenten called out to her. So do I believe me, so do I. She repeated. Ino kept on running, having no intention of stopping until she found him. Naruto what the hell were you thinking? She wasn't surprised by his actions. Naruto was the kind of guy who would sacrifice all for the people he cared about. She stopped for a minute when she saw a head full of blonde hair up ahead. Naruto. She started running again until she came up to a tree. The blonde male was leaned up against the tree. He had his arm wrapped around himself and there was a trail of blood running down his lips. Naruto. She fell to her knees in front of him. He looked so still and lifeless. The young woman put her hand to his cheek. Naruto you idiot. She screamed at him. Before even she realized it she wrapped her arms around him. Why? Look at how hurt you are. Why did you let this happen to yourself? Are you trying to get killed? Is that what you want? He didn't respond and she wasn't really expecting him to. She wasn't aware of too much of anything at this moment. All she was Naruto in bad shape, 
nothing else mattered. I want you to open your eyes Naruto, look at me and tell me that you're okay. I need for you to be okay. You don't even. She paused. You don't even really know how much I. She stopped again. How much I love you. She whispered to him. Suddenly a poof sound was heard and the clone she had been holding onto disappeared. Huh. She spoke with fresh tears in her eyes. Out of the trees she saw Naruto heading towards her. Naruto. Hey Ino-chan. He gave a small smile. Realization hit her heart as she knew for sure that this had been a trick. She had been deceived. She stood up from the ground. Naruto. She repeated his name. Yeah. She suddenly ran over to him and slapped him across the face. Ouch. He shouted out and grabbed his cheek. What the hell was that for? Why the hell did you trick me like that? You jerk. How could you do that to me? She demanded. He knew she was upset but he also heard the worry and concern in her voice. She showed her true feelings just now. There was no way she could lie about anything. You were really worried huh? You know that I was. I'm sorry. He apologized. But I'm okay. I'm not hurt alright. There's nothing to worry about. Everything is fine. He promised as he pulled her into a hug. He hadn't wanted her to become distraught over Sakura and Shikamaru's plan. But of course she would be upset about being lied to. You jerk. She screamed at him and pushed him away. I was scared out of my mind for you and this was all a trick. So then Kiba and Lee. They weren't really injured. So everyone was in on this then. I bet this was all forehead's idea. I'll kill her. Unknowing to Ino Sakura and the others were nearby watching from a good location. Oh yeah she's pissed. Kiba nodded. I knew it. Shikamaru spoke. Sakura she's going to kill you. Yeah I know. Sakura agreed. But if it means they're together in the end then I'll deal with whatever happens. Let's just keep watching. Tenten interrupted with her eyes not leaving the two blondes. Naruto saw that Ino was about to walk away. He couldn't let that happen. Don't be mad at them Ino-chan. How can I not be? This was a really cruel joke to play. I thought that you weren't going to wake up Naruto. You had no idea how scared I was. I'm fine Ino. Yeah I can see that, but it just looked. She paused. It wasn't meant to be a joke. Sakura just wanted to help. She did this to help us. Ino seemed confused when he said this. How on earth did Sakura think that this would help anyone? Forehead wanted to help us, why? Ino it's okay. You don't have to hide it anymore. I know why you were so angry with me before. You think that I want to be with Sakura-chan right? He asked her straight out. Naruto wasn't going to beat around the bush any longer. He wanted everything to be out in the open. Naruto I, it's true though right? You were upset because of my friendship with Sakura-chan. I know that you liked her for a long time. I just knew that I didn't have what it took to compete with her. So I just decided I would get as far away so I wouldn't get hurt. I want you to be happy Naruto and if she makes you happy then I'll deal with my own pain. Naruto stared at her with sad eyes. This was the first time she had actually told him about her fear. He saw just how deep the insecurity was. Sakura had been right all along. He hated to see her feeling like this. You don't need to worry about my friendship with Sakura. Ino, what I feel for you is different from my feelings for her. Everything with you feels different. I like the way I feel when I'm with you. She looked up to meet his gaze. Sakura-chan just wanted to help you realize what I meant to you, so that you would come and get instead of just pretending you were okay with all of this. Ino noticed the amount of space between the two of them. Something about it felt so wrong. She disliked the distance. It gave her such a miserable feeling in the pit of her stomach. I hated how insecure I had become. I was so jealous Naruto, I've never felt more jealousy over anything in my entire life. I don't ever want to feel like that again. It's not a very good feeling. He nodded in understanding because he got it. He understood completely where she was coming from. You won't feel like that ever again, I promise. Can you really promise me that Naruto? I don't want you to be with me and one day wake up it and decide I was your second choice. I don't want you to think of me the mistake you made. I can't handle it. It would crush me to have you choose Sakura or anyone else for that matter. I can't. She repeated. He was now standing there with a serious look on his face. I won't let that happen Ino. You have my word. 
I'm not going to ever do something like that to you. You can't know what's going to happen Naruto. You can't predict the future. We don't know how you'll feel in time. You could just one day decide that Sakura was the one you wanted this whole time, and then I. She paused. I will be tossed aside like yesterday's garbage. He flinched as he heard how upset and hurt she was. It was ringing clear in her voice that she was in pain. He had to show her how serious he was. You're right we can't predict the future. We don't know what the hell is going to happen. Ino-chan the only thing I can offer you is my word. My word and the fact that I want to be with you and only you. Why can't you see that? It's not fair for me to be the only one fighting for us. You need to be there fighting right alongside me. Can't you see how hard I'm fighting just to prove to you how much I want you? Ino found herself clinging onto Naruto's every word. He seemed so serious right now. She literally felt the power of his words. She felt like she could trust and believe him. She didn't say anything, so he walked over to her. He leaned down and captured her lips in a kiss. Ino found that she could do nothing to fight this. He placed his hand to her cheek and deepened the lip lock. She was a little tense at first but soon found herself relaxing into it more. Naruto felt her kissing him back. She wanted him just as much as he wanted her. He soon pulled away. Tell me that you feel nothing from that. Tell me that you didn't feel a thing Ino-chan. If you can tell me that with a straight face then I will know that I mean nothing to you. She said nothing to him, but the way she kissed him back was all the proof he needed. You can't say it can you. There was still that deafening silence in the air. A sigh soon escaped the blonde male. I could see you not wanting to fight for us because of something important, like if you were worried about Kayubi, or if your parents were against us. But if you're going to let something like insecurity destroy us then what's the point? I won't fight anymore, especially if you don't want to. I won't be the only one fighting. Is he really giving up? Sakura wondered out loud. He sounds pretty serious. Kiba noticed. But it's Naruto you guys. He would never give up like this. Tenten looked visibly sad for the two blondes. There wasn't anyone who hadn't been paying attention. Every single pair of eyes were on Naruto and Ino. Naruto's eyes never left the platinum blonde. He was focused on her and only her. He didn't really want to have to say this, but right now he saw no other option. Goodbye Ino-chan, goodbye for good. It has to be this way. Maybe we really don't fit with one another after all. He started to walk away but then turned back around. Sakura-chan didn't come between us, she wouldn't have come between you and me. The person that came between us was you. He told her. I won't bother you anymore okay. And with that he turned to go. Oh no, he's walking away say something Eno pig. The blue eyed female felt every word he said. How could she not be affected by any of it? The only thing she knew now was that she couldn't let him leave. He couldn't just walk out of her life like this. She wasn't going to allow it. She gripped her fist and gathered up all of her courage. She could not let him walk away from her, from them. He was right she needed to fight as well. Naruto wait. Only he didn't stop right away. Naruto please wait. He stopped and slowly turned back around. I don't know what to say besides the truth. She still had her fist gripped tightly. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to tell you that I love you more than anything, and that it's driving me crazy not to be with you because that's true? Do you want me to say that you're on my mind constantly and I can't think of anything else but being with you, because it's true. It's all true. I can't stand not being with you Naruto. I want you more than I've ever wanted anyone. His eyes never left her again. He wanted to hear her pour her heart out to him like this. Naruto wanted to hear her confirm what he already felt from earlier. The blonde teen was actually a little surprised that she had come around. I've never felt anything like this before. It's more than some stupid, silly little crush. It's much deeper, much more intense. And I guess those feelings had me scared a little. But I won't be afraid of anything any longer. She suddenly ran to him and he immediately caught her in his arms. This felt nice, to hold her like this. We don't know the future but I do know that I can't not be with you. I need to be with you. I want to be by your side for as long as I possibly can. I don't want to take another single second for granted. I've wasted too much time already. I won't waste any more. Eno-chan. 
He whispered and slowly wrapped his arms around her waist. He pulled her closer to him. There was a small smile on his face. Are you telling me that you're ready to trust in us? I'm sorry Naruto, forgive me for being so stupid. You weren't stupid, you were just being really stubborn like I was. And I understand that you don't want to be hurt, no one does Ino chan I won't ever hurt you. He spoke in a firm voice. She gave a nod and wrapped her arms around his shoulders tighter. Just promise me that I'm the only one you want, not Sakura, not Tenten, not Hinata, not anyone else but me. As long as you don't run off with Shikamaru. Huh, what does Shika have to do with anything? Naruto broke the hug and gave her a smile. Never mind, Shika and her just friends, he's more like family to me than a boyfriend. Besides I think he had something going on with Tamari from Suna. What the hell, Shikamaru came out of his lazy stupor for a moment as soon as he heard that, causing Sakura to chuckle lightly. I believe you Ino-chan. Good, she nodded. Because I only want you, come her okay. I've been dying to do this for so long. She pulled him towards her and captured his lips in a sweet, passionate kiss. He did nothing to stop her kiss because he wanted it just as badly. Their tongues met and fought with each other for a few minutes. Their kiss intensified to the point where they both ended up falling to the ground. He had his arms wrapped around her waist to protect her from falling off of him. Are you okay? Why yeah, she breathed, I'm fine. Suddenly a loud clapping sound caught their attention. Out of the bushes came Tenten, Lee, Hinata, Kiba, Sakura, and Shikamaru. It was so beautiful. Tenten spoke while still clapping. Yes, your reunion was so youthful and joyous. Lee said with fire burning in his eyes. Ino looked annoyed while Naruto helped her up from the ground. So you guys were watching us the whole time. Yes we had to make sure you guys fixed your problems. Sakura said. We're really happy for you too Naruto-kun, Ino-chan. Hanada smiled for her friends. You guys are all sick. Ino told them but playfully stuck her tongue out of them to show she was kidding. Hey who said Naruto and I were even together? Oh, I don't maybe because haven't let his hand go yet. Both blondes blushed but did not drop each other's hand. Besides you don't plant a kiss on someone's who's just a friend. A familiar voice spoke causing everyone to turn around. Huh. Enko sensei The purple-haired woman nodded and gave a smile as she took a bite out of her dango. Oh no, not you again. Naruto sighed heavily. Hey watch your mouth kid. I was just minding my own business until I spotted you kids over here. It was all so beautiful. She said with slight sarcasm. I just have one request now. And what would that be? You two name your first brat after me. She smiled. Naruto and Ino both shuddered at the thought of a little girl named Enko running around. It didn't take long for Naruto to explode. No way in hell am I naming any kid of mine after you. He shouted. Ino who didn't want Naruto to suffer the wrath of the amber-eyed woman grabbed him and put her hand over his mouth. She needed to protect him as best as she could. Um we'll think about it Enko sensei She lied. So you guys are official now? Tenten asked hopefully. Naruto and Ino then looked at each other and nodded. Yeah we are. That's good I guess, remember to name the first one after me. I really don't care what else you name the other ones. Enko said truthfully. I should be going though, congratulations I guess. Sakura could not contain the joy on her face. She was so glad that everything worked out in the end. See you worried for nothing. Shikamaru told her. She turned to face the lazy genius. Thanks so much Shikamaru. I couldn't have done it without you. She suddenly hugged him. He stood there frozen for a moment, not really knowing what to do. By now all eyes were on the two of them. Hmm, Ino cleared her throat. Forehead, Shika is there something you'd like to share with the class? Yeah, Naruto laughed. What's going on with you two? Sakura quickly let Shikamaru go from the hug. There's nothing going on between us. Yeah, we're just two innocent bystanders that got caught up in your mess. Shikamaru said in his usual tone. The group of friends stood there laughing for a few minutes until Ino took Naruto aside for a moment. Hey, I need to go talk to Sakura. The whisker-faced male nodded in understanding. Alright, hey tonight meet me up on the Hokage Monument okay? Alright, she agreed and gave him one last hug before going over to Sakura. 
Shikamaru knew what she was about to do so he gave her a nod of encouragement. Go for it Ino. Thanks Shika. She thought to herself. Once she got over to the pink-haired teen, they stood in silence for a few seconds before Ino broke it. So this was all your idea? Yeah, do you want to kill me now? Sakura asked. Ino shook her head. Sakura, thank you. Sakura blinked, but was glad she didn't punch her in the face. What? No yelling or tying to kill me. What? Ino asked. Did you want me to? I. Sakura. She cut her off. I'm sorry. I was unfair to you. You're my friend and I let my insecurity get the best of me. It's okay Ino. I understand I'm just glad I could help out. Ino suddenly hugged the green-eyed teen. Thank you Sakura. She repeated. They didn't need any more words, they understood each other. They could get past the misunderstandings and their friendship would flourish. I understand Ino Pig. She smiled. Forehead. She added the nickname in as well. They released each other from the hug. Just don't ever hurt him or I'll kick your ass. Naruto is one of the good guys. I know. Ino agreed. I won't ever hurt him you have my word. Good. You two will be good for each other I can tell. Oh and more thing. What is it? Ino wondered. Don't forget to name your first child after me. Ino resisted the urge to laugh at her friend. How about you just settle for godmother and we'll talk about having a little Sakura running around. Sakura nodded. She could accept playing godmother. Okay we'll talk. I want you both to be happy. We'll be fine. Ino promised. I want you to be happy too forehead, so if you're thinking about Shika. What? She interrupted. Why does everyone think he and I are an item? I don't know it just seemed like it I guess. You shouldn't knock him though, Shika is a great catch. Sure he's lazy but you won't find another guy as smart as him. Hmm, what's this? Are you cheating on Naruto already pig? You haven't even been official for a whole day yet. She teased. Ino playfully hit her on the shoulder. He's safe with me I promise forehead. He's all mine now. He was yours for a long time Ino. You just needed to realize it. Yeah, Ino agreed. I was being an idiot, I won't ever let that happen again. Meanwhile Naruto had went over to the ponytailed male. He finally was able to get the cigarette he truly deserved. He was sitting underneath the tree when he noticed Naruto. What's up? Shikamaru asked. I had to apologize Shikamaru, and also thanks for helping me. It's no problem. Naruto you're my friend, I'd never backstab you. I know. Naruto agreed. You aren't the type of guy. I appreciate you and Sakura-chan helping though. Just take care of Ino you guys will be good together. Don't hurt her or I'll have to do something. Shikamaru spoke with a slight smile. Oh yeah right. Naruto scoffed. What are you going to do fall asleep on me? He laughed. Okay very funny but Yamanaka-san will hunt you down. Naruto immediately stopped laughing at the thought of Inoichi coming to kick his ass. That's not funny Shikamaru, cut it out. I was only kidding relax. But I do have one thing to say. What is it? Naruto wondered, thinking he was something important. Name your first kid after me. He joked. But Naruto's eyes widened to the size of saucers. No way in hell am I naming my kid after a lazy guy like you. Well at least you know he'd be smart. Anyway I was only kidding. I knew it would get to you. Naruto calmed herself down drastically after that. Well I knew that. I have to go now but thanks again Shikamaru. You're a good friend. You are too Naruto that's why Sakura and I wanted to help. Yeah, thanks a lot again. Bye. See you later. After everyone had gone their separate ways it was now just Shikamaru and Sakura alone. Job well done partner. Sakura spoke. We did good. Yeah I told you it would work. You were determined Sakura. Hey I did have help you know. Yeah, you got everyone to go along with it. But you were determined to help so of course everything worked out. There was silence for a minute as the gentle breeze flowed through the air. Hey Shikamaru do you think they'll stay together now? You saw how they were Sakura, they really wanted to be together. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. It's going to be fine. There was something in his tone of voice that made her want to believe in his words. She smiled at the dark-haired male and to his surprise she put her head to his shoulder. Huh, Sakura, are you okay? Yeah I'm fine, thank you for helping me. He wasn't sure what to say so he decided to just say nothing. 
After a while when he noticed she still hadn't moved her head he turned to look at her. Sakura. He then saw that she had fallen asleep. Oh man this could be troublesome. Later that evening Ino was getting ready to meet up with Naruto at the Hokage Monument. He said it was one of his favorite spots to think. It had been very special to him, probably even more so now that he knew he was actually the fourth, S son. Where are you going looking so pretty Ino-chan? Her mother questioned. A slight blush covered the blonde's cheeks. She wasn't going to lie to her mother about her plans. She did think she looked nice though with her long hair freed from its ponytail. Ino remembered when Naruto told her how pretty she looked with it down. I have plans with Naruto tonight. Inoichi looked up from the scroll he was reading as soon as she said this. So then you two were able to work out your problems? Her father asked. Yeah we're in a good place. We're better than good. Ano's mother hugged her daughter. I'm glad dear. You two make such an adorable pair. I'm proud of you for getting over your own stubborn behavior. You realize what a catch you were going to give up right? Ino nodded. I know how stupid I was being. Naruto will be good for you princess. The sandy haired male admitted. If you make each other truly happy then it's fine with me. So when can I plan for the wedding? Her mother teased. Inoichi almost choked and coughed very loudly. Daddy are you okay? Why yes. He breathed. I'm fine, it's one thing to date but there will be absolutely no weddings anytime soon. Weddings at this age means trouble. Inoichi kun settled down I was simply kidding. Mom's not entirely wrong daddy. What? He asked. My plan is for one day Naruto and I to be an old happily married couple like you and mom. Old. Her parents spoke together. Ino chuckled and then waved goodbye to her parents. I should go. I really don't want to keep my boyfriend waiting. A smile rose to her face as she said her boyfriend. It felt so good to say that and have it be true. She walked outside and headed up to the Hokage Monument. She heard laughter while she was passing by Ikiraku's. There was Tenten, Lee, Hinata, and Kiba. She and Naruto would be joining them soon as a couple, a real couple this time. Hey guys. She walked inside. Oh hey Ino what's up? Kiba asked first. Nothing, I just wanted to drop by and say hello. If you are going to meet Naruto Yuto should join us. We'll make it a couple's only night. Tenten suggested. Well you know he'd never turn down ramen. We'll see. The two couples nodded. Well I should go but next time invite Sakura and Shika too. What the hell are they dating? Have they truly found eternal happiness with one another? The black haired male asked. Lee relax. Tenten tried to calm him down before he went into one of his youth talks. No but you never knew what could happen. Look at what happened to Naruto and me. She reminded them. That's true. You guys did sort of come out of nowhere I guess. Yeah it was a pleasant surprise. Anyway I'm going to go now, bye you guys. Ino waved goodbye. She felt anxious and happy while she made her way up the Hokage Monument. They would get to spend some time alone together without any interruptions, hopefully. Only when she got up there she didn't see anyone at first. A sad sigh escaped her. She had hoped he would have been there first, after all it was his idea to meet here. He hadn't changed his mind did he? She decided she would just go have a seat and wait when suddenly she felt two arms wrapped around her waist. Naruto. She immediately thought. Hey Ino-chan. He spoke and pecked her on the cheek. He took her hand in his. You're late. No. I was already here. He smiled. I just wanted to surprise you. I'm glad that you came. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Me either. Naruto agreed. Come on let's sit okay. He didn't let her hand go until they were both sitting down together. They sat there staring at the sky for a minute until Ino broke the silence. I've been meaning to ask you are you okay Naruto? I've got you back right, why wouldn't I be okay? Yeah, well I'm glad to be yours for real this time. But I was talking about your parents. We are sitting here on top of your father's head after all. Naruto turned her towards him. I had a lot of time to think. They were my mom and dad and although I didn't get the chance to know them. They loved me and that's all that matters. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm the fourth son after all. He gave her his signature smile. She loved that smile. She put her hand to his cheek. I'm glad you're okay. And you know you aren't ever going to be alone. 
My parents love you so you're kind of stuck with us. She laughed a little. That's the way I wanted Ino-chan. I plan to be their son-in-law one day. Ino blinked curiously, her eyes never leaving his. Naruto are you? He reached into his pocket and took out the necklace with the blue butterfly on it. It's beautiful. I bought it for you Ino-chan. The color of it reminded me of your eyes. Can I put it on for you? Sure. She turned around so he could put the butterfly necklace on her. She almost couldn't believe he bought her something so beautiful. But Naruto was always a sweet guy. Thank you Naruto. You're welcome, keep it until I'm able to buy you a ring one day. I meant it when I said I want to be their son-in-law. She suddenly hugged him. I'll never take it off Naruto. One day I want to marry you too, you're all I want. He gently rubbed her back and held her close to him. And you won't choose Shikamaru or any other guy over me. Never, and you won't choose Sakura or any other girl over me. Well, he pretended to think. Idiot. She hit him in the shoulder. Of course not Ino-chan. You're all I want too. I love you. He admitted to her. She looked up into those gorgeous cerulean blue pools. She felt how serious he was, besides guys never threw around the L word so easily. Ino put her hand to his cheek and pressed her lips to his. They kissed for a few minutes until they both broke away for air. I I love you too Naruto. He hugged her tightly one hand holding hers. It's only you Ino chan, always only you. She squeezed his hand a little more. It's only you for me Naruto, no one else, only you. Always, he asked hopefully. No, she shook her head. Huh, he blinked in disappointment. With her other hand she stroked his cheek. It's always and forever. He smiled down at her and pulled her into one more kiss. That's the way I want it, only you forever Ino-chan. She snuggled into him closer, pressing her head up against his chest. Always only you forever Naruto. She whispered. He smiled down at her, not wanting to ever let her go. He never wanted to be without her, and he knew she felt the same. They had gone through with this crazy plan and ended up finding real happiness with one another. Naruto would never lose the one he wanted more than anything. He leaned to her ear and whispered. Always only you forever Ino-chan. This is the end of part 11 of What If Naruto X Ino. Hope you enjoy the fanfic and if you did then please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Dot.